So first things first, I'm gonna tell you why I decided to take the Villantier fork brace off my bike after 2,000 miles, so stay tuned. All right guys, first things first, I'm gonna remove the fork brace. So there's gonna be four Allen key bolts I need to remove to loosen up the end caps so I can take the fork brace off. All right, so I ended up needing to loosen uh, one side of the actual fork brace in order to get it out. So I had to loosen uh, an additional two Allen key bolts on the bottom side. But now that it's removed, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about this thing. All right guys, so I have one thing to talk about before we get into the actual review that you may wanna think about before buying a fork brace. So uh, I've been running the Villa 2 Hero fork brace for about 2,000 miles, you know, and I went on this long trip and came back still doing some riding, but I definitely ran it at least 2,000 miles. So uh, what I noticed was I ended up bouncing my light bar off this fork brace a couple different times, enough to where the actual mount for the LED light bar is completely busted now. I've decided I'm going to go another route and I'm going to scrap the fork brace and I'm no longer gonna run the fork brace. So before we start the video, I have two shout outs. One for villain 2 hero for sending this fork brace out. I put his name up there on the screen so you guys can see it. You guys can reach him on Instagram. And also to Moons MC for sending me out a new LED light bar bracket because this one is completely bent because I ended up bouncing my light bar off of the fork brace a couple different times and now it's completely bent. So let's get into the review. So the first thing that I'm gonna go over in my review is the design. So this thing, it has some curve appeal, I ain't gonna lie. I thought it looks pretty sweet. And it's also a five piece design. So there's pros and cons of that. So the pro, this thing is gonna be easy to install. Uh, on our scale of six pack to 24 pack, we rated this an easy six pack because installation uh, you only need Allen keys and that's it and you don't need to remove anything. Some of the cons of that, so since it's a five piece design, people might argue that it's not as sturdy as one piece design fork braces and that's the whole purpose of a fork brace is to be sturdy. Uh, the con to a one piece fork brace is that now you're going to need to take a lot more off your bike in order to get the fork brace actually on your bike. So if you're looking for ease of installation, this is definitely your guy. So the next thing you might be wondering, you know, well, is this thing actually gonna last? So this is made of an aluminum alloy and I can tell you without a doubt, it's at least gonna last 2000 miles, but I don't think you would have an issue running this for a lot more. This thing seems pretty sturdy and I think that it would hold up against the test of time. The next thing I wanna talk about is what coating it has on it. So this is powder coated black and you can get it in raw, the difference is gonna be the price. Um, one of the things that I noticed with my trip and after my trip was my lower fork legs were really beat up with a bunch of rock chips and I can just see them. You guys probably can't see them in the camera, but they're pretty beat up. And this being on the front fender, you know, I thought it'd be pretty tore up too, but it actually lasted really well. The only thing that happened with the coating is right here, from the LED light bar is I bounced it off the fork brace a couple times and now it's chipped, but that's completely unrelated. Unless you're gonna be running a light bar, that's something you may wanna think about. One of the important things that you may be wondering that everybody wants to know, well, how much is it if it's so awesome? Well, this right here will run you about $140 for a powder coated one and for a raw one, I think it's around 130. And the price difference might be different between the 49 millimeter and the 39 millimeter. I'm not sure about that, but this is the 49 millimeter version. So at $140, I think that the Villain 2 Hero Fork Brace is definitely a good option if you're looking specifically for a fork brace. Now, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is also what I think is the most important thing because it's what the fork brace is actually meant to do and provide stability and improve handling. 
So I'm gonna be honest, after running this fork brace for 2,100 miles, comparing it to all the times that I've ever rode a motorcycle without a fork brace, do I think the fork brace is your answer for improved handling? I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it is. Just for the fact that when I was riding, I still got the same wobbles that I had without a fork brace, which I seem to find at 80 to 90 in a long sweeping curve, I seem to find just that right spot where I get a little bit of wobble. And I don't think that it was improved with the fork brace. You know, and I'm not trying to knock Villain 2 Hero because I think this fork brace is awesome. I just think I expected more from a fork brace and I just don't think fork braces perform how I expect them to. If you're looking at improving your handling, I don't think there's anything better out there than getting full suspension around your bike and maybe some engine mounts from Big Bear Choppers or Chopper Haas. I think if you're looking at improving your handling, you want to get the big things knocked out of the way instead of just trying to get the small things to improve your handling like I did. So overall, you're probably wondering, do I recommend this fork brace or do I not? So if you're looking specifically for fork brace, just for the fact of looking for fork brace, I think at $140, the 49 millimeter Villain 2 Hero fork brace is a great option if you're looking for a fork brace. Now, if you're looking to improve your handling 100%, I think you may need to go another route and look at things like suspension and things like engine and things like engine mounts. I don't think that there's anything that you can add to your motorcycle that's going to improve the handling like those two things. So please let me know in the comments what you guys think about fork braces. I'm curious to know if you guys have had different experiences with fork braces. You know, maybe I just had a bad experience and maybe I was just expecting too much from a fork brace and it just didn't perform how I expected it to. I still think the Villain 2 Hero fork brace is a great option, but as to improve my handling, I'm gonna start looking at things like suspension and the motor mounts. So check it out guys, this is a sneak peek of the next video I'm going to be dropping. This is a Chopper Haas front motor mount because I'm trying to improve my handling. So this was Lego here with Dyna Demos and if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.